Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we got a little attention grabber for you today. We've got this full width background image up here. And as you can see, the color's changing. We've got it rolling over a 10 second period. And not only the background image is changing color, but our little button's changing color there as well. Really easy to do, and that's a great little feature to have on your site. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder, and we'll build this. Once enabled, let's go down, and we'll delete this little section that we've got here. And we'll start from scratch. Let's add a new little section. I'm going to click on the section above. Little blue button to add a new section. I'm going to make it a regular section. I'm just going to have a single column inside mine. Obviously put whatever in yours you need to put in there. I'm going to use a simple call to action for mine. It's popped it in there. By default, the call to action has a bit of a background to it. Put the title in there, obviously. Content down here. What you want your button to say right here. You may have noticed there's not a button. That's not going to show up. Until you put a link for the button actually in down here. Once you put a link in, the button's going to show up down there as you can see. Mine are purple with a blue on hover. That's the way I've got it set up in my default. But if you want to, you can design your button. Custom design over here in design under button right there. I'm going to leave mine just as it is. I'm going to change my background color there though. Under the content tab, we'll, you always find background. We'll go down to background. I'm going to make mine black. I'm going to take the opacity down a bit, maybe to 75% or something like that. So when I put the image in the background, we can see a little bit or a hint of it behind there. I'm also going to give this slightly rounded corners. So over to design, down to border. Here's the rounded corners. If you've got this checked, you can do all four at once. Let's say give it 30. Just put in the 30, it'll put the picks in. That's given it some rounded corners for me. Fantastic. Well, I'm happy with that. Let's put this full width image in our little section here. So we need to go up to the blue tab for the section. Remember we said background is always under content. There you find it. We have color, gradient, image, background video, background pattern or background mask and you can combine several of these and you can combine several of these I'm just going to add a background image today by clicking on the image icon and then hitting the little plus sign it's a good idea to put an image in that has a lot of color to it I'll throw in that same image as before obviously put whatever works for you in there and as you can see we've got a little background image going on in there if you want to, you can make it parallax by turning the parallax effect on. You've got true parallax, means it'll move at a slightly different rate than everything around it there, which is a nice little effect. And you've got what they call CSS parallax, which is also known as fixed background, whereas that image is going to stay exactly where it is in the background there. You can just roll down over it like that. If you want to leave those on, that's fine. I'll just leave it like that for a bit of effect. I didn't do that in the initial one, but it's another option for you. Okay, well, let's make this thing do its color change. We're going to write a little animation for this. So let's say what we've got going on here. Let's add a little code module. Now, code modules don't take up much real estate, so you can put it where you want. Let's just put mine, perhaps, between these two. There's my last one I've actually got in there. So let's add it. You can add it wherever you want if you want to put it on the bottom of the page. You can also write this code into your additional CSS panel or custom CSS panel under the Divi. I'm going to use a code module because I just want this to work on this page today. I'm going to be using CSS, so I need to put in style tags. And this is the only bit of code I can't put below the video. All the rest I'll put down below if anybody just wants to copy and paste and modify. So style tags just the left pointy bracket, the word style, and right pointy bracket. So if you're using a code module to duplicate this, make sure you put in the style tags. Very easy. Okay, well, let's create a class name now. I'm going to call mine BG 
curl CH for background color change. All CSS classes have a dot or a period in front, so make sure you put a dot or a period in front. Then we can add some curly brackets and actually tell it what we want it to do. Well, I want it to run an animation. So I'm going to say animation. Then we give our animation a name. Now I'm going to call my background color change. It's my shorthand for background color change there. I want it to run for 10 seconds. And I want it to be infinite. Keep on going and going. So I'm going to say infinite. Right. Well, now let's create that little animation that we called BG color change. So I'm going to drop down from our little curly bracket there. It's an animation, so we're going to be using keyframes to build it. So it's at keyframes. Then that animation name that we gave it. Now we can go close some more curly brackets and decide what it what, what we want it to do over this 10 second time period. Well, I'm going to be using a filter. Let's just move this down. You won't see anything to apply this class name up here, but I'm going to be using a filter to change the actual hue of this image and also anything in this section. White writing won't be affected because it's got no hue and the same with anything that's black because there's no real color in there. But the button and the background will change. So I'm going to say at 0% or basically when the page loads at 0%. We can open and close some more curly brackets there. I'm going to say filter colon hue is the filter that I want to use and it's hue rotate so it's dash rotate we're going to re rotate the hue there put some round brackets on the end there and we can decide how much we want to rotate it by well when it starts off I want it to be regular color so that would be zero I'm just going to put deg for degrees on the end there you don't have to with a zero but I'm going to do that today let's just separate this so it's easier to see And I'm going to copy that from the 0% to that first curly bracket there. Control C, copy. I'm going to drop down. I'm going to paste it in there. I'm going to change that 0% to 100%. And I'm going to change that 0 degrees to 360. So that's going to go through all of the hue changes back to 0 again over a 10 second period. Now you can't see anything happening because we've not applied this class name. To our section so let's grab the class name without the dot just the actual name itself without the dot or a period there control c to copy let's save our changes here now if i go up into my section blue tab for the section over to advanced css ids and classes make sure you put it in class and not css id we'll paste that class name in there once i do that you should start to see it change color and that will include the button as well so let's place, paste that class name in there, Control-V. And as you can see, it's starting to change colors there. That saturation, that filter's working perfectly for us. And it's also affecting our button there. Looks a little bit jumpy. So I might add the word linear to our code there. Let's go in there. I'll just show you how to show it slow it down or speed it up so if i go back down here to my little code module code modules are pretty small like i said earlier if you have trouble finding your code module which is not unheard of hit your little purple button go over the left hand side there's a little icon called wireframe view if you click on it it'll take you to the back end mode and if we roll down there's our little code module there really easy to get to hidden modules that way once you're in there you just flip back to desktop Okay, well, let's roll back up so we can see what's going on here. Slightly jerky, so I'm, just before infinite, I'm going to put linear. Should be graduating in a more linear fashion now. If you want to slow it down, add more time to it. And you can add as much or as little as you want. If I make this 30 seconds, it'll be a real gradual change. As you can see, it's fading changing its color there that's great if you want to speed it up maybe a bit too much put a shorter value in there like five seconds and now it's actually changing color at a lot faster rate as you can see the button's doing it as well well that's pretty cool 
just a little bit quick for me let's compromise let's say seven seconds and we'll call it a day and don't forget this code's down below the only thing you need to write other style tags if you're going to use a code module so let's save this save draft or publish if you're ready we'll exit the visual builder roll on down and there's our little color changing section right there and depending on your timing that's a great little eye-catching feature to have on your site like i say really easy to do now if you want to you can just copy the code down below if you don't want to use a code module you can go to your dashboard down to either your appearance and customize or down to divi theme options where we are at the moment under the general tab roll down you've got a custom css panel right here if there's something in there put your cursor in there hit your return key to scoot down what's there and you can paste that code right in here once you've done that save the changes then that'll work anywhere on your site and if you want the same thing for anywhere else you can just add that class to whatever it is you want to change the background color really easy to do so there you go guys there's how to create a full width image with rotating colors i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful don't forget if you have any questions pop them below the video i'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video like this one once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignertechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day